So even after clearing out all the debris in the airlines, but the Humphreys valve hasn't been replaced, my tools are still getting stuck in the tool changer after a while. And it's not coming out. And you can hear air leaking out the low pressure pressure regulator. This is the original Humphrey valve that has a bad seal that's leaking air. The seal blew back debris all the way into here, clogged this, made this line really dirty. Also blew out debris through the bottom of the piston, the top of the drawbar, and clogged that. And so I'm going to replace this Humphrey valve with this Legree brand fitting because I know that the Humphrey valve will fail after five to ten years or so, that that valve membrane will break down, and I don't know if they've made any improvements to it. So I figure I might as well try a different brand, which I know this is a good quality brand in general, and hopefully they use some better materials in here that will last longer. So I removed the Humphrey valve and took off the end, and you can see there is nothing in there. The rubber that's supposed to be in there to act as a valve is completely gone. So that confirms my theory that the rubber goo that was clogging the lines and the fittings and preventing air from passing through on the low pressure side came from this valve failing. So the outer body of the valve is great. I wish I could just like provide some better valve material for the interior part. Replacement Humphrey valves are available and they're pretty inexpensive. It only costs about $19 even from the manufacturer. And what I noticed is also that um, there's a seals repair kit. So they do know that seals need to be replaced once in a while. And if we look at the details of this PDF here, we see this uh, PDF where it shows the seals, like the diaphragm and the O-ring. Those are the replacement seals that this kit comes with. But I didn't want to just replace that diaphragm with the same material that was used before that's going to eventually dissolve into goo and then gunk up my airlines and fittings and I'll have to do more work to clean all that out again. I'd prefer to have a quality product that wouldn't cause any issues in the future rather than five to ten years down the road having to clean out the airlines and replace this diaphragm again. So that's why I chose to use the Legree fitting instead because hopefully it's a better valve. If you do a search for the Humphrey valve seal kit, you can find many places to sell it online, anywhere from about $11.70 to almost like $16. But that's only a few dollars cheaper than buying the whole valve. So not really a great deal to repair it yourself. It's almost better to just buy the whole thing for $19. Here's the replacement Legree super quick exhaust valve. And I installed it on here and it works great. There's no more air leaking out of the low pressure regulator and the tool release is working much better, just like it should. So here I'm gonna activate it. So the only air is coming out is out of the end of the spindle down here. But there's no air coming out of this low pressure regulator like there was before. And now it releases the tool like it should. So I did run into a little bit of a problem when putting the cover back on because this was sticking out into the cover because this fitting, the new one, is about half an inch longer on the high pressure side than the Humphrey valve is. So there's probably a reason that they chose that Humphrey valve because then they could get all these pieces fit in here under the cover. So one solution would be to get a fitting here a threaded coupler that would be shorter that wouldn't take up so much space and maybe try to shorten this here but these npt fittings are kind of difficult to shorten the only way you could shorten this really would be to, to thread the valve deeper so, such that this fitting could go in deeper into it but then you also need to be careful because then you might lose the sealing properties of the taper so my solution was just to angle this whole thing because it's already on this angle right here so I turned this angle a little bit and then that allowed me to angle all this stuff so this was up a little bit and it clears and that should clear the cover like that so there's space there and the only thing I'm concerned about is these fittings here that I don't want to bend these too tightly because sometimes they can lose their seals if they're kind of bent too tightly and this is not stretched out here too badly either so this should be okay 